Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, I haven't been active on Instagram in a while, and so I was just going to go in and kind of clean up um, the people I'm following. I was going to go in and try to see who's unfollowed me um, and just kind of clean up my, my followers list. And so I thought I might show you how I do it. So first of all, I want to say do not mess with third-party apps. Um, some people can get away with it without having any major issues, but I would not recommend using the third-party apps uh, for a few reasons. So number one, you have to put your Instagram information in those apps for them to work. Instagram does not have an app of their own, and so you're giving your login information to an outside party, and so your account could potentially get hacked. I never had mine get hacked, um, but a lot of those apps, if you use them the way they're that's easy to use them, um, you're probably going to get your account shut down. Um, so if you go through the app, anyway, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but just like you're likely to get your account hacked, you're likely to get Instagram to like flag your account and lock your account. And another thing I found was once I got up to a pretty substantial number of followers, like the apps just wouldn't work because they have to run through and it takes a while and it just got to where the app wouldn't run through after I had like a thousand followers or so. So if you have a substantial number of followers, the apps don't work for you anyway. So just, I would recommend staying away from the third party apps. But so here's the method that I actually use and it does take a little bit of time, but really I think it's the only actual safe way to do it. Um, so... I actually, I can't take credit for this. Um, I'm going to give credit to this this guy right here because this was the video that I found. It says, see who I know followed you on Instagram, safe method. And so I'm just going to kind of follow what he says. Um, so basically, you have to go in and get your data from Instagram. So you go into Instagram and you can request to have your data downloaded from them and so that will be your first step and so I'm gonna go into this I've already gotten I don't want you to see any of my information so I've already gotten to this page so basically to get to this page you're gonna go up to your profile and go into settings um, and then from settings from that settings page you're gonna go into your privacy and security page and then from here you can scroll down and do data download and request a download and you'll have to put in your email address and I think it may have you verify it or something but um, you put in your email address and then it will email you your data and it can take up to 48 hours so it's not just gonna be immediate right away um, but you'll probably generally get it within a day or so so that's the first step so you have to go in here and request a data download and I will say the process is just a little bit different on your phone so if you're looking at your phone so up here on your phone if you click on the little three lines at the top right if you're on the app it'll bring up a thing and it has settings as the first place don't go to settings like you did here um, you'll want to go to your activity and under your activity uh, if you scroll down to the bottom it shows download your information sorry I'm not gonna I don't want to take the trouble of like clipping in a clip of my phone but if you follow what I just said, um, you can find it, but instead of under settings on your phone, it's under your activity, and you'll just scroll down and find it there. So anyway, first step, get your data downloaded. Um, second step, you'll get an email that says your Instagram information, and then in the email, there'll be this link to download your information, but it'll only work for four days, so you have to remember that you've downloaded it, and that you're doing this and then you know you have to download the information and it will download a zip file to your computer and um, so what you'll want to do is open the zip file and inside this file there's a folder that will be called followers and following and so you'll want to go into this folder and then you'll want to click on this for followers and it will open up a tab on Chrome that shows your followers. At least it opened on Chrome for me. And then you'll want this one for following. So you'll want both of these opened up. So followers, so these are the people who are following me. These are the people that I'm following. 
and so then this is where I got from this video um, he suggests using this site called list diff and so you can put these lists in here and it'll compare the differences between the lists so you can see like who's not following you back um, you could do this in an Excel sheet if you're good with Excel but this actually makes it pretty easy so what you do here is for list A um, you'll want to put Oh shoot, I forgot. Actually, hold on. What is A? He says it over here. Hold on. There. So list A is going to be your followers. List B is going to be your following. So followers. And so what you do is you kind of like grab this. And then on my computer, I hold down shift and control. And I push the end key and that will copy the whole entire list all the way down to the end and then I just right click and I copy it and then you go into this list diff com and I paste it into list A and then you do the same thing for the following you go into this following page you kind of grab this I hold down shift and control and end and I'm on a PC so I don't know what the code is for Mac I actually think that this guy says it in his video so really you could probably just watch his video but you know whatever you're here so it'll be the same it'll be a similar thing but paste it in here and so then you'll want to compare the lists and so what this does is it compares the list and so you can ignore these two but here's what you're looking for you're looking for the ones that just are from list B only you don't have them on list A so these are the people that you're following that aren't following you back and it looks like a lot it looks like it has you know 4,500 people but a lot of this are the dates and times that are, are captured in this list so one thing you can do is you can sort it from A to Z and then compare lists again and that will sort it where it'll get these dates and times out of the way and then you've got your list down here so I think I already copied this the other day and instead of having it be 4,000 it was like 700 <laughs> so what you can do is what I do like if you don't have a lot if you don't have as many as me you can just go through this list one by one go on your phone or go on you know your computer here and you know just search for these people and unfollow them manually um, like that's what you're gonna end up having to do anyway is you're gonna have to go in here and unfollow like look up all of these people and unfollow them manually and I mean it's a lot of work but you're not gonna get your account hacked and if you keep up with it like every couple of weeks or so then it won't get kind of like as overwhelming as this um, but the other thing I would say is be careful and don't unfollow a whole lot of people at once so because it will flag your Instagram account is like a spammer so what I'm probably gonna have to do is <laughs> just keep up with this list and actually what I've started doing is I copied I pasted this list into an Excel sheet um, you can also do it on like a Google Sheets and so you can go sorry now I'm rambling a little bit this little button right here this will copy everything and I think just pushing it copies everything let's see I've got this Google Sheets yeah so that copied everything and then you just paste it in this Google Sheets and what I did in Excel was I just um, you know just kind of clicked and dragged all of these dates and then just deleted them so now in Excel I just have the list of the people who are not following me back and so what I did was I went through and picked about 12 people <laughs> and uh, I unfollowed them one day and so it's been a couple of days and so um, next I'm gonna go through and pick like 10 or 12 15 people and unfollow them and then just do it little by little until I've cleaned up my whole list so it's probably gonna take me a week or two um, to get it fully cleaned out again but yeah like that's the best way I can I can tell you to do it without you know risking getting your account hacked or getting your account locked so I don't know if anybody has any better tips let me know but this has been the best way that I can find so 
hopefully this will be helpful and you can get your profile cleaned up without having any issues.